Got a burner phone for me? Here you go. Let's see how this goes. Time me. Make sure they can't get a trace on us. Got it. Should we step outside? No. The two of you should have either me or Jace with you at all times. All right. Who is this? And how did you get this number? It's Davies, ma'am. Using my direct line, how very straightforward of you. Would you care to explain yourself, Agent? With all due respect, we were hoping you could, ma'am. The order to terminate the witness made no sense, and you know it. Since when have I ever had to justify my orders to my agents, Davies? If this all turns out to be a mistake, punish us as you see fit. But we're not coming back with her until we understand what the hell is going on. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Ah, I hear your friend Dr. Lucas is along for the ride. How kind of you to upend his life along with- Jace, she's shaking like crazy. Hang up. What? You know her voice, don't you? Oh my god. Sweetheart, is that the woman you overheard on the phone? Oh, and now the pieces fall into place. Your little witness has a dangerous secret. If I'd known those fools were going to send her to that bastard the same night I'd assigned you to interrogate him, well... I do try to keep business and pleasure separate. Difficult, when you work with imbeciles. They should have killed her the moment they realized she'd heard my voice. Instead, they... sent her back out. You run the sex trafficking ring on the side! And now, all four of you are targets. Do you really think you can outrun me forever with a federal agency at my disposal? Why? It's not like you need the money. Why do this? <laughs> You're so adorable, Sierra. You're like a little Captain America. Everything is so black and white with you, isn't it? Why play both sides? Well, I could waste my time explaining it to you, or... Speaking of time... Hang up! Fuck. That was too long. We have to go. My head is spinning. Let me try to get this straight. Your boss, Command, is actually the head of the sex trafficking ring. Lucas, catch up on the plot later. Look after the girl and get your shit. We need to move. Now. Come on, sweetheart. We need to run again. I know you're scared. Just look at me and take a deep breath. Squeeze my hands. The shaking will go away in a minute. I promise. Lucas, we don't have time. We don't! We don't want her going into shock. It's the last thing we need. She can only handle so much. Just get everything ready, and I'll try to keep her together. Here, blankets help with shock, right? Yes, thank you. Right, let's get that snug around you. Don't worry about what they're doing. Just focus on me and my voice. There you go. Okay. Car is loaded. Do I need to carry her? I think that's a good idea. I'll just get my things. Come on, doll. Blankets and all. Let's get you in the car. Lucas, hurry! Sorry, coming! Get down! Sierra! Stay down! Sierra! Jace, go! Get out of here! Not without you! They're closing in! Go! Fuck! Fuck. I'm out. Now what? Now, we're screwed. Why'd you have to... Sierra, why'd you have to fucking do this to me? I know. I know. It tactically made sense. I had the girl in the car, but... Fuck! Now Command has you, and Lucas. If they... No. They wouldn't just kill you outright. They need the leverage to get the girl. What? No, I... Doll, I'm not gonna trade you. 
None of this was your fault, and it's not your job to solve it, no matter what you know. Besides, now all four of us know the truth. If Command really wants to keep a lid on this, she has to get all of us. No, I don't think they'd have any plans to let us go once they caught us. We're just going to have to figure something out, and fast. Are you alright? You weren't hit, were you? Good. Good. Hmm? Who is she? Leora Scott is in command of the agency. Has been for the past three years. She's a tough boss, but always seemed to play it by the book. Just, none of this makes any sense. I don't know why she would do any of this. I don't even think I could call anyone else at the agency, because I don't know who's in on it and who's not. Hmm? Um, I'm not sure what she's going to do with Sierra and Lucas. I just know she won't kill them. Then she'll have no leverage to convince me to bring you in. Which I'm not going to do, so don't worry. Doll, whatever else is happening, it's my job to protect you. You're a civilian. It doesn't matter what command does. I'm not handing you over. No, not even if she threatens their lives. Well, yes, I know Lucas is a civilian too, but I have a feeling that Leora isn't going to care about that. She wants to keep this quiet. If it gets out, she loses everything. Let's find a place to lay low for a bit and try to figure this out. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Mm. Ow. Oh, this can't be good. Lucas. Lucas, wake up. Uh, Sierra. Where... Where are we? Uh, handcuffs? Oh, delightful. Yep, locked in a cell from the looks of it. Careful, sit up slowly. Those smoke grenades cause a nasty hangover. Yep, I feel that. <clears throat> Well, this certainly isn't how I pictured my day going. Are you alright? I'm fine. I suppose you don't usually see this room from this side. Actually, I haven't seen this room at all. We're not at headquarters. What? I thought this might happen. She's brought us somewhere else. I don't recognize this building, and that's... that's bad means there's no cameras, quite possibly no paper trail. No one knows where we are. She's doing this off the books. So, she could do anything to us. And no one will know. Yeah. I mean, she won't kill us. Then she has no leverage to get the others. Well, that's something at least. Though Jace had better take the girl and fucking disappear. Otherwise, none of us will get out of this alive. She must be terrified. She'll be fine. Jace will take care of her. I'm so sorry you got mixed up in this, Lucas. They were right on top of us so fast. There was no time for me to try and get you to safety. It's not your fault. They had us outnumbered and outgunned. I know, but... I don't know what they're going to do to us, and I can't get you out of it. No, I don't know about that, Agent Rosen. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Wallace. I'm Leora Scott. Now, Sierra, you know you can help the good doctor out. All you have to do is tell me where Davies might take the girl. I'll have them picked up. We can put this all behind us. You mean by killing us all, right? That's the only way to keep your secret. Well, either that, or I have you all branded as traitors and shipped off to who knows where. Depends on how difficult you make this. I don't know where he's going to take her. We don't have any safe houses in this area. Then give me aliases I should look for. Something. No. With any luck, the two of them will get the hell out of Dodge and start new lives. Oh, I doubt he's going to leave you behind like that. He will. He's doing the same math we are. He'll only kill us if he brings us in, so he won't. Oh. 
I guess we'll just have to find a way to convince him then. Helen, please take good care of these two. If I don't miss my guess, Davies will call in a few hours. We need to have something convincing for him to listen to. You can't do this! How adorable. Volunteering to go first? With what? Leave him alone. Helen, was it? I can take whatever you can dish out. You think so? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> 